So hi guys and welcome to part two of the Skybox tutorial. As you can see on the screen, we have the example that we did before, heart pumping earth in all its glory and it's as funny as it was before. So we are going to open up another example and see uh, what other things we can do with the Skybox. So I have one here already. Um, it's a very, very basic scene. So you have the camera position and you have a gray torus knot on the screen um, with a by default white uh, sky, white background. So we are going to just go ahead and change the view. I don't know if you guys can see that, so I'm gonna move myself real quick here. Um, you have different layouts that you can use. Um, this one, for example, or you can stay with the one we've been working with until now. Um, this one is a good one because it will allow us to see, uh, for you to see the code that I'm writing here. Um, so uh, we are going to start another example by adding the assets. Okay, so to add the assets, guys, we're going to just come here and say A, assets, like we did before, close that, and then the image that we're going to use, ID, uh, we're going to name it the sky, that's the sky that we're going to be using, and the source, um, I've already had an image here, is a texture that you can find on the 3JS GitHub, uh, it's a very beautiful image, you have like a kind of a cabin in the snow, so you're just going to copy it like last time and paste it in your source there, and we are going to close that asset, a asset, there, and then we're going to come here underneath our torus knot and add the sky, so a sky, and we are going to call, um, not this ID, the source here, it's going to be hashtag sky. And then we just close that. And there you go. You can see it already appear on the screen. Close that. Yay. Oh, okay, perfect. So it is there. And if you turn around, you guys can see that you have a new skybox. It has been added. And your gray, ugly torus knot, it's still there in the middle. So we're going to do something about that. So how do we make the torus not less ugly on the scene? So this is actually a very easy thing to do. Um, there is something that you can do using the same image that we used for our skybox. Uh, so we are going to have it reflect the skybox around it. And that is, as I said, very easy. We're just going to take this image, copy it, and paste it under our assets. There you go. The only thing is that instead of, of sky, we are going to identify it under the ID. We're going to make it reflection. So why is that? Because we are going to then come under our, our mesh, our torus knot. And first of all, we're going to turn it from gray to white so it can reflect the sky box better. And then we're going to add a material to it. And that material will be defined as coming from a source, we're going to call it, of reflection, which is the one that we have in our assets. So there you go. You can see on the screen. I don't know if you can see it there, but um, let me just put myself here for a second. And you can see how the skybox is reflected on the tours knot in the middle of the scene. Um, so one thing that would be good is to create an animation there. Maybe you can see all the reflection going on a 360 movement. So let's do that. So adding the animation, I'm moving my camera around everywhere today. So it's very simple actually. We're just going to go back to our last example here. We're going to copy this and we're going to come back to our scene and under the torus knot we're going to paste that animation. Uh, and instead of scale attribute, you have you have the same animation there as you had on the previous example. But instead of scale, we're going to do rotation, um, and we're going to take it from um, zero to uh, three sixty. There you go up. 
and we're just going to get rid of that direction we don't need it um the easing though we're going to say it's linear and indefinite it's okay so we can just keep going um and there's moving really fast so we're going to make it move at a duration of ten thousand. so you can see uh that your tour is not it's now moving and all the time reflecting the skybox around i don't like that one let's see five thousand uh, between the two yeah so you can see that on the screen so now let me show you uh what other kinds of a skybox we can add to the scene but before that, I just wanted to make sure that I showed you live view. Uh, so going into live view and it opens another tab, you can see the tour is not in the middle, still turning around. And if you go into full page, into full screen, you can see the sky box and turn around it as well. Take your phone and copy the URL like we did in the last tutorial. And if you go into VR mode, you will see what you would see through your VR device. So I think it's a pretty cool scene, it's a pretty cool skybox, so let's continue. So now that we have that tourist node turning around um, 360 on the screen within our skybox, let's see what other sorts of images we can use. So coming back to the A-Frame website here under A-Sky, um, we can see that the sort of images they recommend are Eki rectangular images as we saw in the last tutorial and they even give you resources here so you can go into the link on Flickr and you can see all the different types of 360 photos that you have and that you can use if they're available for download um, you have for example this one you go there and you can see it even moving around like that yeah I think yeah that's perfect you are going to download it into your computer and you can choose the size small medium and large and that way once you have it you can come back here into your scene and underneath the bottom here is assets uh, you only have this uh, if you have CodePen Pro though, you only have, get this assets option to upload your own images uh, with CodePen Pro. So uh, you will see all the assets that you have and you can choose the files from your computer that you want to upload into them. I've already uploaded, for example, the images that I, the image that I want to use. So same concept, just copy that and come back here into the sky and paste the image yes and there you have it you have a new skybox the torus is still reflecting the old one but you have the old skybox the new skybox sorry and you can see it's the louvre museum of paris so that could make a pretty good scene and like before you can also take that same url that same source um, if you want the object that's in the middle of your scene to reflect it, you will paste it the same way as before. And there you go. So it's not that pretty. You have the clouds there and the Louvre pyramid. So I really did prefer the other, this one, this skybox. Um, so yeah, let's just put it back there. And the same one here. Up. It has kind of a familiar feel to it and there you go so thanks for watching guys and I, i'll see you next time for the next tutorials bye